higher education administrations from throughout the Caribbean gathered in St. Lucia to discuss the challenges and opportunities of leading a university or college in this modern era. According to the Association of Caribbean Tertiary Institutions, Inc., or ACTI, the organizers of the leadership retreat, initiatives of this nature allow participants to explore the most current and emerging issues confronting the sector while also recognizing the significance and constructive discourse and collaboration which is essential in the ever-changing educational landscape where leadership is a skill that demands continuous improvement. President of the Association of Caribbean Tertiary Institution, Inc., or ACTI, Dr. Garth Anderson, says the region's experience with the COVID-19 pandemic has made it clear the importance of planning to ensure adaptability to any eventuality that could derail the flow of education at the tertiary and other levels of education. Despite the underfunding issues surrounding student retention, and feeling undervalued at times as leaders in a higher edu in higher the higher education system, we must continue to advocate using our vibrant coalition that we have in acting to infiltrate the corridors of decision making in the region. We must be at the table where policies are being created and be significant in the implementation. One of the major concerns in recent time is the rapid growth of artificial intelligence or AI and its use in research and with assignments by students who attend tertiary level institutions. Dr. Anderson says universities and colleges within the region must contemplate how to safeguard the integrity of their institutions, academic, financial and social constructs while at the same time encouraging and facilitating the possibilities to be derived from the available technologies. In this context, the conversation around the impact of AI must, not be, must be more about how we do our work differently rather than how these technologies will replace us quickly. Quite frankly, the human touch Empathy, interaction, and collaboration cannot be replaced by machines and programs. Director General of the OECS Commission, Dr. Didikas Jules, who addressed the opening of the meeting via Zoom, spoke to the theme of the leadership conference, leading higher education beyond the norm, the praxis paradigm. A world that's rapidly evolving, where the challenges of tomorrow are unknown, our educational frameworks must not only respond to change, but they must also anticipate it. So what does leading beyond the norm look like? It means envisioning an education system that's resilient, adaptive and inclusive. Promoting excellence in Caribbean higher education is ACTI's primary mission. It's a non-profit membership organization with a focus on improving college and university education via advocacy for reform and change. From the communications unit of the Department of Education, Innovation and Vocational Training, I am Chris Satney reporting.